Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video will be the last video for this whole playlist. Okay, and as I promised in the beginning of the playlist, we'll be building uh, the gallery, which as you can see in this video. Okay, so yeah, so we'll be building this uh, by the end of this video. And one more thing, just to let you know, the way I'll be following will be somewhat of a naive way of implementing it. Okay, I wanted to keep it simple. Okay. And uh, what uh, basically, and there is a restriction of how I, uh, of what I'll be implementing. I'll explain you uh, after we go along with the coding part. Okay, so this is let me start it. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll create again a separate folder like how we are doing. Okay, just to keep it separate. I'll have a name of gallery, and I'll create a file. Sorry, single component XR gallery may be better. I guess. Okay, and uh, this is it. And now what we'll do is like uh, we need to uh, tell the router as well. Okay, I'll do it first here only now. Uh, it should be XR Gallery dot view. Similarly, it has to be here also, and I think here also. Okay, and I need to copy this. Come here. And change wherever it's there. It be XR gallery, XR gallery, XR gallery. Okay, uh, this is done. Now let us do one thing. Okay, uh, we'll be doing some. Uh, first, let me create a basic template. Okay, which I'll be modifying later. So first, I'll create a script setup. I'll be needing a template as well. Okay. So now what we'll be doing is like we'll be having a main container, okay, which is nothing but a gallery container. Okay, it will have a, another container which is gonna be just gallery. I'm gonna be following a specific way of implementing because I did not want to disturb other components. Okay, and the main. Uh, global styles which I have applied already in the previous videos. So I'll be doing some different way. You can try it another way also. The CSS and all those stuff. Okay. Style will be CSS scoped. Okay. So what I'll be doing is like first I'll give the gallery container. Uh, let me copy it to avoid any typo issues. I'll be giving this a width of hundred percent. height of 100 vh and overflow auto okay and then we'll be i'll be giving the gallery some styles okay uh, it will be height of 100 percent i'm not explaining all the css part uh, i'm assuming you are familiar with it okay and just basic css i'm doing so it's not a lot of Explanation is required, I guess. Display flex. Flex wrap will be wrap. Gap of 3 rem. And padding of. The, these values which I'm giving in the gaps and rems and others, uh, I have decided and explored and found it. Okay, you can also change it if you want later till you have completed this video. And justify content center align items center. Okay, this was it, I guess. Now, let me do one thing. Okay, first of all, for now, what I'll do is like instead of creating a separate component, I'll just write some div just to see something in the screen. Nothing specific. Okay, and let's see. Let me copy this. XR hyphen gallery. Yeah. As you can see, we have AAA here. Okay, aligned. It's nothing specific. Okay, frankly, seeing like previously I told. 
uh, now let us do one thing now what i'll be doing is like i'll be using this dom only component and refactoring it You'll, it will be very minor refactoring but i just don't want to change it in the that component so i'll create a duplicate component here okay so it doesn't affect other routes okay, anyway uh, i'll import it import xr model overlay from okay now what i'll be doing is like instead of these div tags i'll be uh, placing the dom overlay okay i can put just this because i don't need to send any extra stuff okay and uh, okay sorry what did i do wrong Sorry, I think it was visual. I thought it would have a handle automatic. Anyway, so what we'll be doing is like the DOM overlay, uh, as you had seen in the demo in the part, in initial part of the video. Basically, we want a specific width and height for the whole containers, which contains the model as well as the AR buttons. So what are we doing is like we'll be passing specific width. Initially, what was happening was we were assigning the whole Windows viewport basically width and height. Okay, Windows it was. So now what we're doing is like we'll be assigning fixed width and height. Okay. That is it I will be doing and this is a normal way of passing props in view. So I don't think it needs an explanation as well. And yeah, we'll be having different models also. So I would like to customize from here on the. So let me give models one by one names. I'll be just referring whatever is already there. It's ambulance. Save and now let me do one thing. Let me define the width and height also here. Two eighty. Two eighty. Okay. So I've assigned the width and height, and I have assigned this. Now what I'll do is I'll copy four components. Width and height will be same for all. I'll just change the models names. Okay. This is done. Now we need to come to uh, let me close this not to confuse with the other one. Yeah. Now we need to take the props from the parent component. Okay. The ways in the view three is just to use something called define props. I don't know why it's yeah. So first we'll be having width. Okay. It will be of type. number some validations required true okay and let me copy this and change it width this will be height again number and model name this will be string again it's required because we need the model name we have already declared model name here we'll remove it Okay, and wherever we are finding inner, wherever we are using window or inner width and height, I'll just replace those places with just width. Okay, and similarly, wherever I have height, inner height, I'll just replace it with just height. Okay, that is it. And yeah, by the way, I need to declare it also. I have not done that. Const. Width, comma, height, comma, model, name. Cool. Now it should be okay. And now we are going to do one thing, okay, specifically, which I had not done previously because it was not required. What we'll be doing is like, we'll be uh, giving some classes to the container also. Okay, here and we need to specifically uh yes first let me put some foot class name and show you what is already there okay then we can discuss further again uh, class container ref equal to canvas uh, let me wave container ref
let me show you what is already there now then we can discuss okay model name is not defined i think it is a typo let me see weird let me check once more what is there this is an exa model overlay which is part of gallery okay Hmm. I think I'm missing out something. What is that? Weird. Uh, let me check the code once more. Hmm. I'm passing the model name in from the parent XR model overlay. This is using this XR model overlay. And I'm passing the width and height. Both are coming up, it seems. Okay, and then I'm. Let me do one thing and restart it just to get my safe side. Yeah, I don't know why it happened. Okay, it's working. It should. Yeah, anyway, it's working fine. Uh, okay, as you can see, there are three, two things we need to fix. First of all, we need to align it properly, this uh, headings and all. And secondly, we need start air buttons for each of these models, not just only for the main global one. Okay, we need for different models. Okay, so let us fix that. Uh, first, I'll fix the start air button. Okay, for that, what we need to do is like instead of attaching it to a document or body, what I'll be doing is like I'll be attaching it to the container which we have just not declared okay so it will be container ref okay and container ref dot value okay and let me append child and let me refresh it again weird stuff okay yeah i understood yeah anyway uh, this is okay and we need to fix that style also so for that let me do one thing let me come here at write container styles for it okay and then what i have to do is to make it position as relative that's very important because the start air button as well as those headings are position absolute okay so i'm giving the container position relative css stuff basic okay then uh, position is relative i think it should work let's check once and then i will do the other styling as you can start air button is coming properly and the headings are coming in the right places and let me give other styles also now which is nothing but one is outline one pixel solid white outline style will be dashed okay and border radius is nothing but one rem let's see how it looks cool this looks fine i guess okay and let me see if i had missed out anything i should be good to go i guess let me once still clarify and check it once more we have the template we have this model name we are taking it from there okay anyway uh, so i think this should work fine and i'll do one thing okay as you have, might have seen everything is now uh, based in the form of components okay so it's very so if we have another model suppose if you would like to insert it you can just do quite easily like you see van have inserted and you can see it's coming up very easily fine okay that was it uh, i guess and let me tell you some of the limitations of what i have done till now okay the thing is like uh, by default browse will not allow you to have different kind uh, more than more than a fixed number of webgl context currently we are having these four components and we are having four uh, 
WebGL context for it. And similarly, if you have more components and we are having more context, okay, we are using more context, okay. So uh, there is a specific limit. Uh, so after a certain limit is reached in the in particular browsers, the limit is somewhat different. But uh, then this solution might not work. But I felt this is a very naive and good way to start something. But if you'd like to explore further and make it like uh, production ready kind of thing, not like just uh, dependent upon browser limits. I would suggest you to check out something called off-screen canvas and see how it works with it. But maybe in future, I might have another video separately for that dedicated. So if you are interested, you can subscribe my channel and just be notified at that point of time. Anyway, I think this was it for this whole video and playlist. Okay. And uh, as I told you, as I promised you previously in my 3GS playlist, I have uh, created this view playlist with 3GS and WebXR. Similarly, there are more stuff planned, okay, and if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll be notified uh, whenever it comes up, okay, and that's it, I guess, and thanks for watching till here, and thanks for watching to the complete playlist, okay, and bye.